Hi, uh, now I will show you about our, our viscosity test. So at first I will uh, explain some of the parts of our rotational viscometer. So you can see this is our main rotational viscometer. This is called the group field viscosity test. And, uh, and this is the spindle that we will insert and this will rotate and that will create a uh, measure of viscosity. And then uh, these are the temperature controller. You can see there is a temperature. This is the our now room temperature, 25.7 degrees centigrade. And we can uh, set it up to 200 or more than that one. And these are the uh, chamber heater. So whenever we will just uh, put the sample in a container, it will just uh, maintain the temperature of uh, that temperature, whatever it is showing in the temperature controller. And you can see this is uh, this is the container. This is called the sample container. And in this sample container, we will just pour the asphalt, liquid asphalt. And um, we need to put up to this level. As you know that we we all we all know a uh, law of the Archimedes law. If we put up to this level, then when we put the spindle here, it will spill. So what we need to do? We need to just uh, pour the sample up to this level. Then it will be fine. So how we need to pour? Uh, 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 pour the liquid. As you know, asphalt is very solid in uh, room temperature, so we need to heat this asphalt at a certain temperature. So this is our heater and this is our asphalt, so it is already heated. So I will now just, it is already liquid, so I will just now take the cover and pour the asphalt in the sample container. can see that so we need to pour the asphalt so these are the asphalt we already poured here so now what we need to do uh, there is some leakage so I am just uh, removing that one and then we need to input this sample container into the sample thermal heater And now we need to just uh, set our temperature. Uh, we are just setting our temperature up to 200 degrees centigrade. Now we'll just set and then run. So when I click the run button, as you can see that our temperature is increasing. So it will go up to uh, like 200 degrees centigrade. But when the temperature will be around 100 degrees centigrade, then we will put the run button here, then it will start measuring the viscosity. So before that, we need to do something like this is our spindle. This is the main part. So we need to attach it with the rheometer, meter, the rotational viscometer. We need to insert this into the sample. And we need to lower it down. So our temperature just uh, just going to increase around uh, 93 so when it will be around uh, 100 we will just uh, press our run button and then it will start measuring the viscosity it will rotate and it will create the torque and then it will automatically measure the viscosity. It's 100 so we can start run. You can see that uh, our <coughs> machine is rotating and uh, and after that after some time it will start the viscosity will start decreasing till now it is not showing any kind of data you can see the viscosity here it will give the the unit will be in centipoise
yes now you can see that our viscosity is started to decrease because when the temperature increase the become the materials become more fluid and then there is less resistance am uh, among the materials that's why the viscosity becomes started to decrease and uh, this is the main philosophy like when the temperature will increase the viscosity will decrease and you can see the curve and you already have that curve in your uh, lab you already submitted that report and so this is how uh, our viscosity test has been conducted so after the test we can uh, directly export the data from the machine and uh, we can directly plot the result from here so that is our viscosity test i think uh, thank you